Last time on the Nerd Room, we stumbled on something, but I'm not sure what. Some kind of shrine or something? Oh, here we go. There's another. It's another bell. Oh, I did something. I did something. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Was not expecting the first boss to be that soon. Okay, I'm on him. All right. Oh boy. Well, that didn't last very long. Okay. One more. Yes. And down they go. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Pray for the Gods. So in the last part, we took on a dude missing his stomach and a graboid, and now we're going to go fight, uh, I don't, I don't know, something with horns and tusks. These little silhouettes don't tell me a whole lot. Whatever it is, I can tell you it's gonna be big, and that's good because that's exactly what we're here for. Wait, was this... But was this always here? Maybe this gate will open up when I defeat the third boss or something? Really the only explanation I can think of, so we might as well test it out. Okay. I never actually thought about this before. At first I thought there was, there was just, like, stairs here. But clearly there is not. How the heck did the wolf drag me up here? Like, freaking spider wolf or something. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Where, where do I see my stats? Ooh. I need some grub. Do I have anything on me? I have this seed of life. Can I eat it? <laughs> I don't think I can eat it. Okay, I think I got I think I gotta do a little hunting. So maybe I'll keep my eye open for like uh deers or something. Apparently I also need to take a quick nap. Oh dear. Oh dear, hunger's really going down. Oh, I have like a sliver of it. There's gotta be something around here I can eat. I mean, this is a very barren wilderness, but there's gotta be something that can survive in this- in this, uh, environment. And hopefully that something is edible. Aha! Whoa! What the frick?! Ah! What in the frick is that?! Oh, I'm getting attacked by a poltergeist, huh?! Okay, didn't think I had to worry about freaking ghosts on this journey. Huh. Well, at the very least, there's a berry bush here. I can probably eat these. There we go. Okay, okay, that- that gave me more, uh, that filled me up more than I thought it would, so... Yeah, that'll keep me going for a little while so that I can hunt. Okay, there we go. This one's holding still. Hoo Wait. Hold on. Do I even have any arrows? <laughs> I really should check that. I don't think I have any arrows. <laughs> I basically just twanged a guitar string towards the deer. <laughs> okay, so I need to I need to craft some arrows. All right, let's see. Ah, here we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. I figured out the crafting menu. That's easy enough. Okay, let's try this again now that the, uh, now that we actually have arrows to fire at our dinner. Hooah! <laughs> Dang it, I missed. Hiya! Oh, yep. Okay, I hit him. He doesn't seem too phased by it, though. There we go, perfect. Ooh, okay, so not only did I get meat, I also got, uh, some leather and some bones. How do I make a campfire, though? Because I feel like if I cook this meat, it'll give me, uh, it'll be much more beneficial. Yeah, can be eaten raw, but cooking it will increase its healing benefits, so... Uh, frick, how do I make a fire? I probably need wood, first and foremost. Oh, my goodness gracious! ay <laughs> ay What the frick was that? Oh my goodness, what are you? Whoever he is, I ain't messing with him. You can, you can have that part of the ruins, all right? It's all yours. All right, I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm hoping the club will help me get wood. Yeah, no, didn't think so. I think I'm just, I think I'm just breaking my club. How do I get wood? Can I, I need to craft an axe or something, but I don't know how to go about doing that. I am able to gather wood from like smaller trees without having to, without having to cut them. So maybe I just need to keep my eyes open for, uh, for that. I really wish there was just like a recipe book or something that you could, uh, refer to, to figure out what materials you need to craft what. Hello, what have we here? 
Oh, some notes. Okay. Uh, we've been coming here for so long, repeating the ceremonies again and again. Now we are twisting and bending the rituals for what? What good is living if we have to destroy the world and our beliefs to stay a part of it? Words to live by. Okay, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure that that's the, like, uh, the, like, beacon that's meant to guide me to the next boss. So I'm actually getting pretty close to them. I assume they're just over this ridge here. But I'm not sure if I want to take them on because I am freaking starving. Dang it, I, I came to, like, the worst possible area in terms of, like, survival. There's, like, no, there's, like, no materials around here that I can use, or at least no materials that I can gather with the tools I currently have. Okay, that's probably the boss. Where are they? Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. <gasps> oh my goodness. What the frick is that? Oh no, now I can't see it. Oh, that is terrifying. <laughs> Could you imagine just like out in the wilderness, you see just this gigantic silhouette in the distance, just flying overhead, and then suddenly it's just like, it vanishes. Oh my goodness, that is terrifying. My best guess is that that's probably one of the bosses, because if not, then holy crap. <laughs> I still need some dang wood though. Like, is there an ax that I, like back at the temple that I missed or something? Oh boy, I'm probably just gonna have to, I'm probably just gonna have to eat this, uh, this raw meat because I can't find any wood and I don't even know how to make a campfire if I got the wood. You know what, in all honesty, this is probably about as good as I would do in an actual survival situation. That being very poorly. Oh no. Oh no, please don't tell me it's nighttime. I can at least see a good distance in front of me, but now that I know about some of the other uh, denizens of this land, I'm really frightened to just keep just soldiering on, you know? Oh, perfect, here we go, I can gather some wood from this. Oh, here we go, okay, perfect. Uh, so to make an ax, I need, I think that's cloth and maybe stone. Neither of which I've got. Can I make a pickaxe to get stone? Anyway, I think I'll use it to make a make a campfire so that I can uh, so that I can cook this uh, cook this meat. Let's see, how do I cook it? Do I just drop it near the? Oh wait, no, never mind. It looks like there's like a grayed out option for like cooking it over a campfire, but I guess I need something else. Oh, well. Dang it. Well, at, at least it warmed me up a little bit, but uh, <laughs> that doesn't help me too much. All right, let's head let's head down. Maybe we'll find some more uh, vegetation down here that we can uh, that we can use. Oh. Hello. What have we here? Sleep to improve rate of stamina. Oh, okay, cool. So I got I found like a bedroll. Oh, and something else. <gasps> Wait, is that cooked meat? Well, it, it, technically yes, it is cooked meat, but it's burnt meat specifically. Okay, if I'm reading these symbols correctly in terms of like, filling up my belly, uh, the raw meat and burnt meat fill me up about the same rate, but the burnt meat heals my, uh, heals me slightly more. So yeah, I'll go ahead and just chomp this down. There we go. And... I should be able to last a little bit without having to without having to sleep. I need some freaking equipment and I need it now. What's this? I knew this place was haunted. You can see them at night, watching over us. I am too afraid to get near them. What are they looking for? Are they trapped here like us? I don't know their current uh, their current state, but all I know is that they don't like me, so I'm going to I'm going to give them plenty of distance. <gasps> An axe. Oh, heck yeah! There we go. Okay, perfect. Let's get some wood. Is that working? Oh, yep, yep, that's working. Beautiful! Oh dear. Oh no, they're rolling away. No, wait, stop! I need your resources. There we go. There we go. Perfect. No, no, my axe. Ah, ah, put it out. I do not want to lose that. <laughs> All right, now let me test this out here. If I drop the meat, will it cook? Pfft, well, it certainly won't cook now. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh, I'm about to freeze. Uh, quick, make a campfire. Just make a campfire. <laughs> oh my goodness, no! <laughs> God, no! <laughs> the snow was too deep and it engulfed my fire! Alright, here. Make one here. Is that better? Thank you. Oh my goodness. There is so much you gotta take into account when sur trying to survive in this game. Alright, well, it looks like we found another structure, including one with a fire that hopefully will warm me up because it doesn't seem to be going out. Yes, thank you. Okay, perfect. We'll hang out next to this fire for a bit. I came to this place to right my wrongs. Like many, I took their offer and sacrifice to make a better life, but it was not as I had expected. Trapped in this cold, lonely place. I'm sure now we have brought this on ourselves. I found and shared letters from others which brought me peace. Over time, the silence here has become deafening, if not maddening. I am alone. I cannot bury myself. But I have buried my totem, as it is the only thing worth saving. Okay, so there's a totem around here. Does that help me in any way? All right, well, I'm not sure, but we have this bedroll now, so... We might as well, uh, we might as well sleep now that we're right next to fire. All right, there we go. So we're completely warm now. Uh, we are fairly well rested and we've got a decent amount of food. I think, I think now is probably as good a time as any to try and, uh, take on the next boss. Hello, what's this? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's the remnants of one of my old campfires. Okay. Can I gather resources from it? Like ash or something? Doesn't look like it. Oh boy, another blizzard. Jeez, this place is the freaking worst. <laughs> oh boy, and it looks like my axe is actually running out of uh, running out of durability. Just last long enough for me to gather a bit of firewood, all right? Please, that's all I ask. Oh no, I think I've only got one more swing. Come on. No. Oh wait. Oh. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I think I'm all right. I imagine it probably doesn't do as much damage for, like, melee combat, but it doesn't outright break. Because I think I'm in, like, a, a slightly easier uh, difficulty right now. At least that's how I'm guessing it works. Maybe it's like it goes into this mode, and then once the durability on this mode runs out, that's when it breaks completely. But regardless, I'm not looking this gift horse in the mouth. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep using it. Okay, yeah, it definitely took uh, more chops to bring down that tree, but luckily it's still... Never mind. Never mind. My axe is gone. <laughs> well, at least I got a couple bunches of firewood that should last me long enough to take on this boss anyway. Jeez, this place freaking sucks so much. Look, my heat is almost already completely gone. <laughs> Am I able to make like a, a poncho or something to help me stay warm in the middle of a blizzard? Oh boy. Oy, 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 this game does not pull any punches. And this is on like one of the fairly easy difficulty modes. There's two difficulties above this. Like granted, I've only been playing it for about an hour and a half, so I don't know like all like the ins and outs of like the survival mechanics, but even still. Oh, frickin' frickin' die, you dang worms! Ah, oh, you pricks! Oh! Oh, here we go, here we go! Okay, so there's campfires just... Uh, just around the world. Okay, I can cook this meat now. There we go. Lovely. Cooked meat. Roasted to perfection. Let's go ahead and uh, eat that right away. There we go. Lovely. Oh, wait. <gasps> Cloth! Okay, I can use that to make, uh, make an axe. And bread! Cool! Okay, that'll help. Now then, time to see about getting myself a piece of ham, if he didn't go behind the tent. Show yourself, you delicious creature, you! Right now, hold still. Hooah! Oh, I got him! Come on! Eh! Oh my goodness, this boar is tough! Hooah! Yeah! Perfect! Alright, there we go. I think we'll- I think we'll save that for a desperate situation. For now, I- I'm pretty sure this is about as good as we're gonna get, so... Boss fight time. Where is it? <gasps> Freaking jeez, I die! <laughs> okay. That was a 
legitimate gasp of terror there. Oh my goodness. Back off, you stupid thing. Ay ay ay. Screw you. <laughs> I can't see the dang beacon because of the blizzard. Where is the boss? Like, I'm just gonna be walking along and then all of a sudden there's just gonna be this giant shadow that looms over me. <laughs> okay, I hear something. And I don't like the something that I'm hearing. Come on, make a fire. There we go, okay. Warm up. Ah, dang it. No. I need that. Not that I've used it as a weapon. Maybe I should just use it as a torch. Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? I just thought of something. I can probably use the club to smash open these crates. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, so I got some more cloth and something else. A bread roll. Okay, nice. So, yeah, maybe I'll just uh, save this club and just use it as my, uh, as my crate smashing club. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm kind of going around the boss now. So, if I head... This way, this should be the right direction. Okay, okay, that, that looks important. I kind of see like two giant banners off in the distance. That's gotta be where the boss is. Oh yeah, there's a gigantic metal door. This is 100% where the boss is. Okay, yep, here we go. Okay, okay. I thought when that door opened, it would just be like a, a giant face on the other side of it, and I'd have to just run. But no, the boss is... Okay, no, the door's not closing. The boss is probably deeper inside. Let's see what happens when I do that. Okay. Easy enough. It looks like it just opened the gate. But I imagine it's going to start closing the moment I step off of the button. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. There's one of the counter... There's the counterweight going up. Oh, actually, that gate closes pretty slowly. So maybe I'm just supposed to open it all the way up and then try and just make a break for the opening. Oh, boy. Ah, no. Dang it. Okay, never mind. I can't climb that. Luring it was easy, but containing the beast proved difficult. It may have blinded it, but we found it still very sensitive to sound and touch. So there's some blind monster in here that I have to, like, sneak around. That's probably gonna be the boss. Okay, can I climb the side of these, like, uh, of these counterweights? And from there, like, glide over to the gate? Oh, please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, perfect. There we go, we made it. Oh boy, and here comes the boss. <laughs> Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> okay, so it's basically a giant bull. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, here we go. So if that note was correct, this thing is blind, but it can still... Oh, boy. It can still, like hear very well, as well as, like, oh boy, as well as, like, I assume, like, sense, like, my vibrations through the floor or something. Okay, how do I approach this? I can see, like, the bell on, like, its hip there. Ooh, as well as on its shoulder. Oh, and on its underbelly. Are you serious? Oh, no. Well, I can climb the pillar. Maybe I should just climb up and then sailcloth down onto this thing's back. Well, here we go. Oh no, that's definitely not gonna work. That's definitely not gonna work. Am I just supposed to charge right at this thing and try and grab its beard? Because yeah, gliding down to it's definitely not gonna work. I think I just have to charge it and try and grab onto its chin. Oh boy, yep, here we go. This is the best chance I got. Go, go, go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Ah. All right. Ah, boy. I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay, did not expect it to rear up its legs like that. Oh, wait. There's another thing here. There's a button. What do you do? What happens when I do this? Oh. Did it react? It kind of looked like it reacted. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's definitely doing something. Oh, yep. Yep. Here it comes. Ah, frick. Oh, dear. All right. Well, there's your answer. Ay -ay -ay -ay. All right, let's go. Let's get as many of these bells as we can or get as close to... Oh, boy. I was about to say, get as close to these bells as we can before it wakes up, but it woke up very quickly. Ah, gah, gah, frick. Ah, jeez. 
Ah, uh, it was like crushing me with his head. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll go around and like hang out on its back just to make sure I have as much stamina as possible. Uh. All right, there we go. There we go. Ah. Okay, there we go. We got our stamina back. Oh, jeez. Cool. There's nothing for me to grab on back here. Quick. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Go. Oh, no. Go. Stop charging like that, you prick. Oh, boy. All right. There we go. Now's my chance. Come on. Oh, nope, nope. Now's not my chance. Okay. Now's my chance. Okay, now it's gonna try and buck me off. Come on. Okay, there we go. There's one more. And then we can go hang out on top again. Oh boy. God, stop. Hold still for just a second, would you? There we go. All right, it kind of looked like uh, this thing's like the top of this thing's skull. Oh boy like kind of cracked when it ran into that wall. So I imagine that there's gonna be another bell underneath like the top of its skull that I have to first break open and then ring. Can I leap from this patch of fur to the other? Yes, I can, perfect. Oh dear. Oh boy. All right, there we go. Recharge, recharge, recharge. Recharge, dang it. Ow. Here they come! Get... Oh no! Dang it! Okay. So yeah, I have to... I have to actually... I thought maybe I'll get plenty far away as this thing's charging, but it can... It can stop on a dime, apparently. Here it comes. Uh, okay! Alright, let's head for the... Let's head for the bell that was on its underside. There it is. Whoa! Frick! Jeez! Okay, that... That actually scared me. Oh, come on. Stamina. Recharge. 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 Okay. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be treacherous. Oh, hang on. Oh, can I not? Okay. Okay, it looks like... Okay, I think I'm just going to let go. It looks like... Oh, boy. No! Oh, no, it killed me. Dang it. <laughs> Dang, nabbit. Uh, anyway, as I was going to say before, it looks like that... The only time I can go for the bell on its, uh, on its underside is when it's on its side after running into the wall because, uh, I can't, like, do anything when I'm hanging from underneath it. Alright. Let's do this as many times as we can before it stands up. Urgh. Which is apparently once. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just do that two more times and then we'll... Ooh, boy, don't get crushed. Then we'll uh, work on the bells that are on its, uh, like, its shoulders and everything. Yep. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Now run. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Stop stumbling. Alright, something's definitely going on with the top of this thing's head, but I'll worry about that. God, later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's cracked open now. Oh. Okay, it's not falling. What? What's going on? What's going on? That wasn't supposed to happen. You were supposed to be knocked out. Oh. Oh dear, something's happening. Oh boy. They look pissed. Wait, can they see now? Oh yeah, I just realized all the, like, the bells or the lights or whatever it is that activates when you push that button. Uh, the boss destroyed it. So I can't use that anymore. Oh, it also took down the pillar. Oh, no. Good. Okay. 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 I see. I think I see what I have to do now. I just have to kind of hang out next to a wall. Like close enough to a wall that when it charges at me, then it'll, you know, hit the wall and be knocked out again. Oh, yep. All right. Here they come. Perfect! Alright, did that do it? Yes! Perfect, okay. There we go. Oh boy, yeah. Alright, we got this. We got this. I just gotta make sure I don't get stepped on again. Because I'm not sure if it's just that I had too low a health and it did enough damage to me that, that when it stepped on me it killed me, or if stepping on me just automatically is an insta-kill, because 
in all honesty, it really would be. There we go, perfect. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy. No! Frick, I fell off! No, don't step on me again! Run! Here they come. I don't Am I close enough to the wall? Well, <laughs> doesn't really matter because he's coming either way! Okay, good, I was. Oh, yeah, I was right. There's a bell under its head. Uh, like, under, like, the its skull. Come on. Oh, frickin' A. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Okay, come on. Now's my chance. There we go. There we go. We got the one on its head. Now we just need to get the one on its hip and its shoulder. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, there it is. Oh, boy. Oh boy, hang on tight. Oh boy. And... Nope, dang it, no. I was right there. Come on. Stop. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa there, Bessie. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Oh boy. All right, one bell left. Yep. There we go. We got it. We got it. Now let's hang out up here and get some stamina back. Ooh. Go, 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 dear. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Hiya! Come on. Two more times. Hiya! All right. All right. Just one more time. Oh boy! Come on! Yes! Alright, I'm gonna be honest. I was fully expecting to be able to just head over and take care of this boss, and I thought we'd have enough time to maybe do two of these bosses in one episode. <laughs> that was definitely not the case. I did not realize how freaking strict the survival elements of this game were and how dangerous the world was. I didn't expect it to be like a perfect carbon copy of Shadow of the Colossus, obviously, but I did not expect that many other enemies in this world besides the, uh, besides the bosses. Not that I'm complaining, though. It definitely adds to the game. Oh, I just realized this pool is, uh, is filling up with water. Like, it used to be just like the kind of star at the bottom of this was filled, but now it's gotten a little higher. <sighs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I did not realize how big that wolf was. No! No! Please! I'm friendly! Okay, okay, good. It dis it didn't decide to kill us. Thank you very much, Mr. I guess Dire Wolf, because that is not a normal wolf. There we go. Third boss completed. Okay, so that's where we're heading. So who are we fighting when we get there? Oh, that guy. All right, now I can interpret that uh, that uh, depiction of the boss in one of two ways. Either that's the boss's face and we're looking at it from straight on, or this is kind of like an overhead shot and like the two little, you see how it kind of like splits down the middle? So that's either just a depiction of the face or the split down the middle depicts like a pincers or mandibles or something. Well, I guess we're gonna find out when we go say hi to this thing, but for now, we will cut the episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!